hi sweeties how you all doing today in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how i cut and sew this gorgeous beautiful stylish booboo dress isn't it lovely can you see the brack oh my god i made this dress with a two and a half years of duchess fabrics by 60 and a half yard of sequence fabrics Make sure you watch this video to the end so that you grab every details in this tutorial. So I folded my fabrics twice and that gave me four layers. I'm cutting both the back and the front together. That's why I have to fold it twice. So I will go ahead and take all my vertical measurements. I'm taking one inch for my back neck depth, 13 inches for my chest line that will also serve as my sleeve width that's my round sleeve i'm taking half length of 17 inches and my hip line will be 25 inches and the length of this booboo will be 60 that's the same length with the fabrics so my neck length will be three inches and i'll be using a sleeve length of 20 inches that is from the middle of my back neck to where my sleeve will stop 20 inches then I will come down by one inch for my shoulder slope then take 13 inches for my sleeve width Then I'll go to my chest line and measure the same 20 inches. That's where my sleeve is going to stop. I will connect the line. I'll connect all the lines. So the next thing I will do is to take my bust measurements, which is 38 divided by 4, 9 and a half, then I added 2 and a half inches for both sewing allowance and for ease. I will take the same thing around my half length. It's not a fitted gown. So my hip is 40 inches. Divide by four, which is ten, I will add two and a half for sewing allowance and for ease. Then I will take the same thing I took around my boss. I will take the same measurements at the end of the gown. I will connect the line. So from my half length, I will take seven inches. This will serve as my pocket length. This is the length of my pocket, seven inches. Then I will create the pockets. As far as boo boo is consigned, I cut my pockets together. unless it's fitted so this is what it looked like so I'll go ahead and cut please guys make sure you subscribe to my channel please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the like and sh share button please So I'll remove the inner one. Since the up one have all the measurements, I will now go ahead and create my front neckline. So the 
depth of my front neck neckline is six inches that's my front neck depth six inches so I will divide it into two you know I've cut out one inch already when I was cutting out for the back neckline so I will divide it into two that will give me three inches so that middle I will now make a line so I will divide it into two no I will cut I will measure 1.7 inches that is not the middle I took in 1.7 inches out of three inches so i will now create the sweetheart double sweetheart neckline this is what it look like as shown in the video so this is my sequence that's what I'm going to be using for the front design so now I will now create the design remember my front neck depth is six inches so after six inches I took ten inches please just be watching as you watch you will understand with what you saw in the video the dress and I will take my 3 inches neck length I will go down around the 6 inches neck depth then I take the 3 inches again so this is 8 inches I came down by the line I just drew is 10 inches deep and eight inches wide remember the paper is on fold so when you open it it will be it will be about 16 inches from my shoulder i came down by 10 inches then the length is eight inches on fold the length of my design is 20 inches that's the last line there that's the length of my so i divided the six inches by two again that is three inches just the same thing i did on the dress the main dress because i'm going to use this to turn it and i'm turning it with the sequence fabrics so after cutting this i will now use it and cut out the sequence so from the three inches i will measure out 3.2 inches again Then I will now make a curve. Then I will now connect it from the 10 inches. I will connect it to the 20 inches, which is the length of my design. So I will now take in the same 1.7 inches I took on the main fabrics. That's to create my double sweetheart neckline. So whenever you are, you are making a dress that you are turning the neck, the interfacing or whatever you are using has to be the same measurement so it will align. So this is what it looks like. So I will use this to cut out the sequence. So this is it which is the same thing I cut from the fabrics so now this is 16 inches and 20 inches long so I'm cutting out my sequence so this is it it's so beautiful
one just has to be creative. So this is the way I'm going to turn it. The, both the sequence and the main fabrics are facing down. After sewing it, you now turn it. Then you top stitch on the main fabrics. So I'm cutting out for the back side. This is the back part of the dress. So I came down by four inches. I've cut, I've cut out one inch already. So this four inches, this remaining three inches now will now be the opening at the back. If you watch the video, you will understand everything. The video of the dress at the beginning. So this is the back opening. Is now I have to measure out the length of my back design. I took six and a half inches from my shoulder. Then I will now cover it. I'll cut it out. So this is it. This is the back. There will be a button there. So this is the front part. I turn it. I turn the edges with bias. So after I will now fold it inside and sew on top of it. You see it? I turn it. I don't want to place it like that. So I have to turn it with bias. I have to attach it, what I'm doing, I have to fold it inside. So I've turned the ne back neckline. I've turned it. So that's where I'm going to put the button. This is the front, this is the bias. I turn the front too with bias. When you sew to one edge, you cut then start again so that you'll be able to turn it are you seeing it so that's how i turn it round with bias all this is just to make it look neat and fine this is the front part i've turned the neck too then this is my hem gum. I will use it and gum it. I'll put it under then iron it so that when I'm sewing it, the the sequence will not be moving up and down and it will not squeeze. So that's the sense of putting it. So I instead of using gum, I prefer hem gum. Then after you now sew it, sew it round. You now stitch it on different fabrics. So I'll go ahead on and do the same thing on the back parts. I will insert the hem gun, then I will iron. So after ironing, the next thing to do is to join the shoulder of the cloth, join the whole part, join everything I need to join, hem the down part. So this is it. I will join the shoulder. This is the back part. I'll join them together from the shoulder. that's it so after joining I will now cut out the turn up group this is what it looks like so this is 2 inches wide and about 16 inches long so I have to sew it after sewing it I have folding it and sewing it I have one inch left so i'll go ahead and attach it to the sleeve it will start from the shoulder to the sleeve part so i'm going to sew it from the shoulder where the end of my shoulder just look at it just look at what i'm doing so guys make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel for more tutorials 
and share this video too so that others will see and watch and learn from it too so this is it i will turn it i'm going to use a pin just look at it i will insert it inside i'm stopping from where my shoulder from the end of my shoulder then i will now bring it you can fold the sleeve if you want so i'm using pin to hold it can you see it that is how it's been done that's how it's been done i'll do that to the other sleeve can you see the dress is so beautiful it's stylish and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful and hope you like it please try and recreate this for yourself or for a customer too This is it. I've joined the, the second one. Then I will now use button to hold the back opening. So, guys, this is all about this our beautiful dress. This is the down part. I will iron and I will hem. This is the the slits, the side slits. So I will iron, weave, and hem. So this is it so guys here comes to the end of today's tutorial please don't forget to notch the armhole area just look at what i'm going to show you anytime you make a cut together sleeve booboo make sure you notch cut it so that you separate you know it's a cut together so guys like share and subscribe to my channel please and bye for